Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Balloons Online Australia. Uh, today we're going to show you how to build the confetti cannon that we showed a couple of months ago. So I've got all the components here, we'll walk through that and then we'll start building it piece by piece. Okay, so we'll have a quick close look at the components before we start. Um, the two different sizes I'm working with are 40mm, which is I think one and a half inch, and 25mm. So the 25mm pressured pipe is um, for the connection to the helium. The 40 mil, the reason why we chose that size is it fits quite nicely for a 16 inch or a 36 inch to go over the opening of here and it holds on really tight um, and, uh, and won't come off with pressure. Now the rest of the components, the glues, the connections and everything will explain as we build it. But I'll just talk about here, the, uh, it's a rubber, um, like a rubber stop for a chair leg. It works perfectly. This is, um, I think it was like 34 mil. Just have a look at this. Oh, there we go, 25 mil. You get a set of four, a couple of dollars. Um, and it just works perfectly because this will fit over our 25 mil um, piping and uh, it'll get, have a nice, really nice connection. And that'll be the rubber uh, connection for the helium intake, depending on helium or air intake, depending on what you're using. Um, see how it just slides over there and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so we've clamped up our 25 mil pipe. I'm just gonna make a little cut of this um, for the rubber door stop, and that's gonna come into the connection here for the isolating tap, the one-way valve. So, uh, I'll measure my door stop, the inset of the, uh, the tap, come back to about here. You can roughly do this, it doesn't have to matter exactly the size that you do it. Okay, so now for all our cuts, uh, it's gonna create a, a rough burr. Just a little bit of sandpaper, I've got 120p here. Just uh, slowly work that off. You see, it just smooths it off. And without doing that, it's not gonna glue very well. So just make sure you sand every cut. So it's gonna connect one side there and the door stop's gonna go over that side here. Okay, so that's where the helium or the air is gonna come in. Um, and we'll explain why we have a little isolating tap a little bit later. From this point on, we need our expander from 25mm to 40mm. So I'll need a, another little cut for that. Once again, just sand off the burrs. So just push that in for size, just check that out. And now that's our expander. So I've just left a little bit of extra there. You don't want it to be too long. That rubber stop just slides over like that. Okay. We're gonna drill a hole in that a little bit later. So next is we're gonna have the 40 mil. We're gonna have a T intersection, so we're gonna cut a little bit of that. Okay, once again, we're just thinking about how deep it needs to go on the connection for this side, and then for our T. You could measure it up. Okay, so let's just put it in for size. We'll glue it all a little bit later. Now I think it'd be good to have the isolating tap up and the T down. So our cartridge for the confetti is gonna be below here and the, uh, the leftover bit for the, uh, where we're gonna put the 16 inch or the 36 inch is gonna come proud at this junction. So how big do we want the cartridge to be? Well, in a couple of little bits of testing that we've done, it doesn't have to be that big. So, down to about there. We just want to make sure that the confetti will sit in a, in a point where the helium or the air that first comes in is not going to whip that up. So you could call it three, four inches.
Okay, so the end cap, 40 mil end cap, is gonna go over the base of the confetti cartridge. Okay, so that's our underside. Now what, I've sort of changed the design a little bit now so that I wanna be able to screw this in hand tight. So you can have multiple cartridges running, but it's just a little bit easier to access the confetti cartridge as you go. So it's gonna go like this. So that's the top, the mouth side of the screw. Okay, and we just now need another offcut for the connection of these two pieces. Okay, so go in like that, go in like that, and so you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim this a little bit, because we get a lot of size just from the connection. Have another look. Okay, so without it being glued in, we're pretty much there. The last thing we want to do is the end. So I'm going to use the end of the original piece of PVC because it by itself is really nice and smooth, and uh, my cuts aren't as good as that. So we'll just find a point. Clamp that in. Okay. So that is our last cut. It's probably only taken a couple of minutes. Okay, so we've got our finished unit here. Um, just time to glue it together. So I'm gonna break up the parts, but I'm not gonna get too carried away. I'm just gonna break up one part, glue it, and continue working my way. Otherwise, you might sort of lose your order. So we've got our glue here. It's, um, you know, it's just a special type of glue for um, pressure piping. You can uh, probably use other PVC, um, different types of cement. Uh, you can also prime the PVC. You can chat to your guy at the hardware store. I don't worry too much. Priming is like an acid wash. It just sort of etches its way inside the piping. But we're really not talking about high pressure here. Doing it over a bit of cardboard. Now if you want to be really pedantic, try and do it very neat. So just a little bit on the edge here. Because as you push it in, you don't really want to see that green if you can avoid it. So just push it in and twist. As you push it in, hold it for a little bit and you're away. So I'll start my next bit. Once again, try and do one piece at a time. Show you that there. Just try a little bit on the edge. Now really important at this time to start thinking about how you want it to finish up. Alright, let that set.
So this T intersection is probably your most important glue because what I want to do is I want to have the isolating tap up top and the uh, chamber down below. So when I push that in, it's going to be looking pretty good. Okay. The last one. All right. So that's all glued now. As I was talking about, the advantage of trying not to use too much glue, just going on the edges, you just get a, quite a clean line. The last thing you want to do is uh, have that in the shop place or uh, working on site and it just looks a bit average. All right, so we're nearly there. Um, the last thing we need to do is just drill the hole through the rubber stop. So we use pretty much just Conwin all the way. So this is a Conman, uh, economy rig. And essentially we just need to get a nice tight fitting when it goes through the rubber stop. So I've pre-selected a nine mil drill bit and simply just drill that through the center. Easy as that. Okay, so check it out the size. Just push it in there, hand tight, it's a nice seal. You could go larger and uh, be able to access the larger tapering. Uh, but that kind of works well for me because I can use other air inflators that fit the same size. So um, if you look through, uh, you'll be able to see when we close that off. So that's off. The way um, these work as a direction in line of the pipe is on, 90 degrees to that is off.